the question of who started the war. India firmly believes that it all began with the Chinese aggression. While China insists that the war was a repercussion of India's forward policy of raising off military power in areas claimed by the Chinese. In an article, R.S. Kala, a former Indian ambassador to Iraq, writes that there are many documents to prove that the fighting began because China wanted to teach India a lesson. The then Chinese President Liu Shaoqi told the Sri Lankan leader Felix Bandaranaike that the 1962 conflict was to demolish India's arrogance and illusions of power nation. Was the war synchronized as Pope Beijing time? Former Indian Ambassador R.S. Kala further explained that it was a complete planned attack and to get an idea of how well planned the attack was, you only need to look at one fact. The Chinese attack began simultaneously in all sectors of the border, both in the west and in the east. At the same time 5 a.m. IST on the 20th of October 1962 completely synchronized as per Beijing time. Quote. Where were Nehru and Defense Minister Krishna? Defense Minister Krishna Menon had left for New York on the 17th of September 1962 to attend the UN General Assembly and return to India only on the 30th of September 1962. Even Nehru left Delhi on the 8th of September to attend the Commonwealth Prime Minister's Conference. Returning on the 2nd of October, only to leave again on the 12th of October for Colombo. He returned to Delhi only on the 16th of October 1962 but that was too late. The bad decision to not use the Air Force. Indian defense think tanks critics that the reason for India's defeat was the decision to not use the Air Force. The one-month-long war was fought only by the Indian Armed Forces. Retired Air Commodore Ramesh Fadki in an article said that it was a disconnect between the military and civilian political leadership. He further asserts that Indian Army had provided viable military options to the government of India. He writes that while Lieutenant Gen SSP Thorat showed a set of plans about requirements on the border to Defence Minister Krishna, he dismissed them as alarmist and never showed them to Nehru. India asking the US for help. The then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru had sought American assistance and read to the then US President John F. Kennedy to provide India jet fighters to face the Chinese tide of aggression. Nehru had requested 12 squadrons of fighter jets and a modern radar system. John F. Kennedy wrote a letter to Jawaharlal Nehru assuring him that the United States fully backed India against the Chinese attack. Then President Kennedy even offered India $500 million as military assistance. But the plan couldn't go through because of his assassination. Why did Russia not help India in the 1962 war against China? Russia was occupied under Cold War with US and the Cuban Missile Crisis. This drew away Russia's attention from India as it was already engaged with America. Russia was sympathetic towards India and regarded it as an ally. If Russia had not been distracted by the Cuban Missile Crisis it would definitely had come to India's aid. Was Pakistan planning to attack India during the war? China had proposed that Ayub Khan, the then president of Pakistan, join in attacking India, presumably for the trophy of Kashmir. Ayub Khan reportedly demanded Kashmir from the US in return for not attacking India. The key lesson of the 1962 war report is simple. Jawaharlal Nehru and his defense minister Krishna Menon fell short of expectations in the dealing. During the 1962 war with China which resulted casualties and losses of 3,200 killed, 1,100 wounded, 1,700 missing, 4,000 captured and substantial amount of land.